I am a student at Washtenaw Community College in digital video production. I grew up in a real small town called uh, Hudson, Michigan. Everybody knew everybody. Big on football, peaceful town. If you played any sports, everybody knew who you were. I started drinking when I was in eighth grade. Was just looking forward to the weekend, finding somebody that can buy me some booze so I can get hammered, you know. After I graduated high school, going to a party and a guy knocked my lights out. Woke up the next day and just figured, man, if I wasn't so drunk, that probably wouldn't have happened. I could have 10 great times drinking, and then there was always one bad night that would overthrow all the good times I had. You know, it was just building. It's almost like a disease. And you don't really realize you have the disease until the doctor tells you you do, you know. Eventually, it got worse and worse to where I drink a fifth with a couple friends to now I'm drinking a fifth by myself. My grandmother was diagnosed with stage three cancer. My whole life, she do, she's always been there for me. Uh, no matter what I needed, no matter how many mistakes I made, she was always there for me. And then the one time that she needs help, you know, I can't do it a thing for her. So it, it's, uh, it was just pick up the bottle and start drinking. And... Went to my brother's and we were getting hammered. I chose to uh, get in the car and drive and hit a guardrail. You know, most people who drink and drive and get on an interstate don't live to tell about it. But me, I got, I got lucky. I didn't have a scratch on me. I got my car out of the impound the next day, fixed my tire, fixed some, pulled some dents out of it. And then I just really sat back and thought, wow, I should not be here right now. You know, and it was a big eye opener. The biggest thing I learned there was just accepting the fact that you have a problem. And once I was able to accept that I'm a drunk and that uh, everybody around me is embarrassed by me when I get drunk, you know, I lose some friends, I lose some girlfriends, my family's embarrassed. I just figured, you know, I'm tired of doing that. I'm, I want to do something with my life. I don't want to end up killing or hurting somebody else. There's always going to be a reason for you to pick up a bottle and drink. Somebody's hurt, you had a bad day but there's also a million reasons why you shouldn't do it. And those are always gonna overthrow everything. And the consequences are the reason. Some people can drink a couple beers and have a good time, be social with other people, but I can't. When I think of sitting down with uh, my buddies and watching a football game drinking, they're thinking, let's just drink a couple beers and we'll go home. I think of buying an entire fifth of Jaeger and, and doing Jaeger bombs all night long. I don't want to live like some of the alcoholics I've seen in AA. They've shared their stories with me. They've lost their house. They've lost their cars. The kids are pissed off at them. The wife wants nothing to do with them. I don't want to be like that. My name is Pat Morris, and I'm an alcoholic. That first step you take is the longest drive.